Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a what sold, and more importantly, I am gonna share with you the five items that I had up for 99 cents free shipping. So, how did it go? <laughs> um, it went fine. <laughs> um, we'll just get started. Um, I'm also going to show you the other items I sold on Saturday and Sunday, which I got to tell you guys was not a great weekend, but, um, I can blame myself for that. We've already talked about that. I've been focusing on YouTube. I have not been listing like a machine, like I should be, and I need to get focused. But anyway, this is my lesson <laughs> for not listing. Um, I only have one item on Poshmark and one item on, um, Mercari and I haven't cross posted. Oh my gosh. Um, probably for two or three weeks. Like I have been doing YouTube at night and that's typically when I cross post. Um, I typically cross post, uh, before I go to bed. So I'll list during the day and then cross post at night while I watch TV or watch YouTube or something. It just kind of, uh, flows that way, but I've been busy doing videos, so I haven't had time. All right, so what do you guys want to start with? The five auction items, the 99 cents free shipping. So if you don't know what that is, it was the Vote Auction 99 challenge, and I got 29 YouTubers who are resellers to come together and do auctions. 99 cents free shipping. Was this a good idea? For some, yes. And for some, no. And I will say that um, it really depends on what kind of items you brought. If you brought items that were in demand and high dollar items, then the items went high. If you brought just kind of like mediocre stuff, like I guess some of my items, they kind of like the good stuff went good and the stuff that I wasn't sure about didn't do so well. But you guys know I sourced cheap, so I still did good. Um, I'll still make money. Would I have made more with a buy it now or best offer? Most definitely. But man, there is one guy who made, I think he's probably close to $2,000 on his items. So I am going to do a follow-up video. So I'm super excited about that. I'm going to share with you guys, um, just some highlights. So what you need to do to see everybody's five, what solds is you need to put into the search bar, hashtag, hashtag, what sold auction 99 hashtag what sold auction 99 you put that in the youtube search bar and that is going to pull up all 29 of the participants what sold video for the five items now i am going to incorporate in this weekend sales just because um and they can do that or they can just um show you the five items i don't know i left it up to everybody how they want to do it but let's start with the first item i sold that i was kind of disappointed about. I thought this was going to go for more simply because I sold one of these for much, much more. Um, it's a Gucci tie and here it is. And I think the pattern's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this is, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but, um, I picked this up at a thrift store in a bulk buy of ties and new old stock underwear. So, Honestly, I don't have much in this and that's why I was willing to risk it. Um, it didn't do as well as I'd hoped. Uh, I sold this for $17.50 and free shipping. So what I will tell you with ties is it's probably not a great auction item, but that was the one of the, I showed 10 items and then my YouTube viewers um, picked five that they wanted me to auction off. And this was one of the winners. So, um, I wouldn't recommend auctioning off ties unless it's like something like really unique and fancy. So I kind of expected that, but I was hoping that maybe since so many people like voted on it, maybe somebody was interested in it. Okay. The next item that was kind of a want, want, and I know I could have gotten more with a buy it now or best offer and that's okay. Um, that was part of the fun of the challenge was taking a chance with, um, a 99 cent auction. And you know, it's also a good lesson um, for you guys to go and kind of look at what people were selling and to see did 99 cents free shipping work. 
I know a lot of people um, think that YouTubers get um, higher sales on their items because of subscribers. And in some cases, that is true. Um, honestly, I don't get a lot of viewer sales, but this weekend I did. Um, they were all from the same person. And I, um, I'm i going to call this video, What Carissa Bought This Weekend. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyway, the Disney pens. So these ended up selling for $15.59 plus tax. So the buyer was all in for $16.80. So they got a really good deal on these. And I don't recognize the name. So I don't think it's somebody from YouTube. Same with the tie. But um, it could be. Did my phone just cha-ching? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I really, really hope so. Um, let's see. I have not had many cha-chings in my life this weekend. Uh, it. I sold a goat. <laughs> I sold a toy mountain goat. Um, so that one will not be in the video. But um, yeah, I sold a goat. That's so funny. Okay, so the next item was the Lisa Frank. And I thought this was going to go higher. Um, <coughs> goodness. <coughs> Let me mute. I think I can mute. Just a second, guys. Sorry. I need to find out if there's like a pause button. I used to use a different software where I could pause it and then come back. And this happened the other night. I was recording a video. Maybe it's this lipstick that's like, it's expired, discontinued. It's an old Avon color that I love, but it tastes horrible. And I've told you guys that before, but I wonder if it like gets in my throat and makes me cough because this has been happening a lot. Um, but anyway, I was doing a video the other night and it was super embarrassing. I could not quit coughing. It was just like that. And it's just like this weird feeling in my throat. I'm not sick. Okay. So here's the Lisa Frank. I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents. I had another one that had smiley faces on it. I think it went for over a hundred. So this ended up selling for $64. The buyer was all in for $69.28. Okay. So I paid a quarter for it. So I'm, I'm good with that price. Um, could I have gotten more on a buy it now? Probably, but I would have been waiting. Okay. So one of my subscribers, Carissa bought these bracelets on auction. These were a part of the challenge, 99 cents free shipping. And she got them for $50, which I would say if I was selling these individually, anywhere from, goodness, I don't know. I had all four of them listed for 100 buy it now or best offer. So, I mean, 25 or best offer on each one, that might be a little high. But I take best offer and I run sales. So, I don't know. So, did they go lower than I expected? Yes. Um, I picked these up in a mystery box from Donatella Bottolino, her uh, YouTube auction. So I, I haven't listed anything else from the box. I really need to focus and get those items listed because there was some really great stuff. If you guys want to watch that video, I do have it on my Bolo Buddies channel, um, my main channel. Just um, go there and search uh, Dibble Box. No, no, it wasn't a Dibble Box. It was a jewelry box. Search Donatella Bottolino and you should see it. So anyway, these are really cool. Bakelite bracelets. They have been tested. And I have a video where, ah, where I tested them. If you want to check that out, it's on my other channel also. And Carissa also bought the awesome ring. That's, um, and I say it wrong, Savorsky, Savorsky, I don't know. But it is really, really pretty. And it ended up selling for $57. It's a real pretty blue. It's not even doing it justice. It's awesome. So she got the bracelets and the ring. But earlier today, she ordered a toy box from me. 
and you're like, what is a toy box? So a toy box is when I'm listing toys and I get frustrated and I don't feel like listing toys anymore and I just start shoving them in boxes and I sell them as toy boxes. So parents or um, can buy them and then their kids have something to go through. Or this box um, is just stuffed full. It's a large flat rate box and it's just full of toys. Okay. So I will tell you guys, I did learn, um, I put these on, um, Mercari and I get a lot of people that are like, Oh, will you part that out? Blah, blah, blah. And they asked me for certain items, but I think it was on eBay. Somebody messaged me about this guy and they said that I should list it separately. It's from the monster high. It's one of the monster high pets. So I didn't know that. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys as a learning thing. Um, but there's a lot of um, little small toys in here. And you guys know I like to, like here's Alf. Like I could probably sell that individually. There's a lot of toys in this lot that I could have sold individually. Um, this is uh, Naked Merida. So she is missing her clothes. I don't know who this pony is, but her hair's a mess. But there, there's some uh, cool stuff in here. I don't know what this does. It ha its mouth is open. So, and then I don't know. It's, oh, it's back leg moves. Does it pee or something or squirt water out of its mouth? I have no idea. I don't know, but it's back leg moves. So there's all kinds of, um, it's a, a little people. Again, like these are bread and butter items, but you guys know I love listing bread and butter, but I just get to the point where I just need a break and I have so many toys. Here's a Fisher Price guy. Um, I don't know who this is. I don't know if he's worth anything or not. But yeah, so I don't know if she's she does resell. Um, I don't know if she's gonna, here's another little people like this would probably sell. And again, bread and butter, but it all adds up. Um, so I don't know if she's planning to sell it or a um, little Furby or if she's going to um, have somebody she's gifting it to. Here's some little hair things, Ohio State hair things. So it, it's a good box. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Okay, so she paid... 6410 for that. Now the bummer on that one is tax and shipping. Um, it's in a large flat rate box. So um I don't I don't know, is it like $20 for a flat rate box? It's a lot. But I think she is one of those states that's kind of far from me, so it's cheaper. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna check it both ways. But all in for 9310, which man, that's a lot. It's a lot with uh, tax and shipping. So I'm glad she got a good deal on the bracelets because those are definitely cool. Okay, so on Mercari, I sold this, it's a zipper. Isn't that cool? So it literally zips up the chain. Isn't that fun? So that came from a garage sale. Um, that took a while to sell, honestly. Um, I'm was actually pretty shocked that it sold because it was way low in my Mercari. I've had it listed for a while. Sold for $20. Um, Mercari took $2.88. So $17.12 was my profit. Um, I probably have a quarter or less in this. And then um I will have to ship it. Probably cost me three bucks. This ring. Oh, I think this might have came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, but I am not 100% sure. Um, and then the toy box, I didn't tell you guys about that. So those are toys that I have collected from garage sales, mystery boxes, whatnot, and they just get piled everywhere. So I have no idea how much I have in that. Probably not very much because I pick things up in bulk and I make my money back really quickly by... Um, listing bread and butter items, you know, that most people just wouldn't even mess with. Uh, this is my, uh, 
Poshmark item and this item is so stale. Like I have had this listed for like, I don't know, five years. They're king size. Um, that's the brand king size. They're new without tags, but they have the buttons and the original thing. So they're new without tags. But uh, yeah, they sold on uh, Poshmark for $15. So Poshmark took three. So I get 12 and I had about three plus tax in them. So not big profits, but I'll take it. I'll take it on a slow weekend. Um, and I don't know if it was because if it's Easter weekend, if people were just busy doing family things, somebody had messaged, messaged me that was doing the challenge and they're like, do you know that our auctions are ending on Easter? And I'm like, I didn't really think about it when I scheduled it, but I think it'll be okay. So I don't know if that hurt the challenge or not. I feel kind of bad because I really didn't even look at the date and catch that when I um, scheduled the challenge. So that kind of makes me feel a little um, bad. Like maybe people are doing family things and not watching their phones. I don't know. Okay, so this is a Design Works crafts kit and it makes like little um, silverware pocket holders. So it's a craft. And this I picked up probably for a dollar or less. I don't remember where. It did take a while to sell. I sold it for $12. The buyer was all in for $17.65. I sold another brawl. You guys are getting used to seeing the brawls. This was a retail arbitrage. I bought it off of the Lane Bryant website. I've got about $7 in this. And it sold for $22.79 plus tax and shipping all in for $31. So I'm getting low on those. I do have some left, but I mean, they take time to sell just like anything else. Um, but I have sold a ton. Okay. So this cami, it's just a Lane Bryant cami. This came from, I believe it was Gabriel Brothers. It's a discount store. I picked these up, I think for a dollar each. You can see that it is black lined through the actual label, which kind of stinks, but you cannot see it on the other side. So a um, dollar and I bought probably 40 or 50 of these and I'm almost sold out. This is a smaller size. It's like a size 14, which is a harder size to sell in plus size clothing because it's like, um, it's plus size clothing, but it's not really a plus size. You know what I mean? It would fit probably somebody that's an extra large or a large. Um, that one sold for $6.83. The buyer was all in for $13.07. Okay, so now we have some fun things. Uh, this came from a thrift store and I paid a dollar for it and I didn't know it was broken. Unfortunately, the hinge, let me see if I can get it open here. So the hinge is broke. So I just disclosed that, but it has all of these little cuties. They're not really called cuties. I just think they're cuties. These little bears. And it's got like the little accessories that come with it. And it's, it's full. I don't know. This is some sort of like, I don't know, game. And it's got like a door and the little chairs. And I think there's four little bears. So I just thought it was cute. I knew it was vintage. It was a dollar. So I grabbed it. Um, if it would not have been broken, I definitely could have gotten more for it. It sold for um, $18.99 with tax and shipping. They're all in for $30.09. This here came out of a mystery box. You guys know what it's from? I think it's Lion King or Lion Guard. It's just. Uh oh, I don't know how to open it. Oh, there we go. It's just the playset. So um, it's just like a little mini travel playset. I don't know. I don't really know much about it. It was in a mystery box. So I'm like, you know what? I'll list it. I'll try it. And it, I mean, it wasn't like, oh, it sold super fast, but it sold pretty quickly. I wasn't like hating on how quick it sold. Um, that one sold for. $11.40, the buyer was all in for $17.80. Now this is a fun little item. I think it goes to, it's like a McDonald's playset. It's the bigger one. And um, it's the hotcakes, eggs, and sausage plastic container. And it's by Fisher Price. 
can see it's written on the inside there. Fisher Price. And yeah, it's McDonald's. So that's I got free for um, my sister gave it to me. And $12 this sold for. Buyer was all in for $19.58. And you guys, that's a wrap. <laughs> it was a very slow weekend. Um, I do want to share with you. I do have merch. My merch is up. So Bolo Buddies merch. I've got hoodies and sweatshirts and t-shirts. I've got men's tees, women's tees. I've even got this adorable little onesie that says Bolo Buddies baby. So cute. Um, I've got tanks and I've got kids apparel. So kids tees, kids hoodies, kids crewnecks. I feel like um, a lot of moms watch me. So I thought maybe, I don't know. I'm just having some options available for you guys. If you're interested, if you're not, no worries. Um, I got Bolo Buddy socks, which super fun. So you can either get the logo up here and thanks for watching on the toe or the opposite. Thanks for watching up here. And then uh, the logo on the toe, which I thought was fun. Um, we've got the mug and the tote and the tumbler. This is a sticker, a fanny pack. Who needs a fanny pack? A mask because, oh, are these masks ever going to go away? Hopefully nobody needs to buy a mask. Hopefully they are going to like lift the mask thing. I don't know. I haven't looked at the numbers lately. So I just wear my mask and I do my thing and I just can't wait to not wear a mask again. So that's my merch, you guys. Um, because She Shed uh, put this together for me, I went on to this site and um, I tried to set it up myself and I spent about 40 minutes on it and I'm just not savvy with that type of stuff. And she did my banner, my intro and my outro and my trailer. And I was like, Hey, do you think you could set up the merch in my store? And she's like, yes. So, um, she, I sent her the logo and she went, went ahead and just got everything set up for me. And yeah. So there it is. There it is. So if you guys are interested, awesome. And if you're not, again, no worries. This video is really short for my what solds. They've been running about 40 minutes and this one's only at 22 minutes. So I apologize. I didn't sell more. I'm going to work harder to get things listed because um, I need to. <laughs> <laughs> that's my job, my full-time job. So uh, I need to focus. Does anybody feel like, you know, you do that? Sometimes you feel um, you kind of get in the mood to do something different. Um, and right now I'm trying to really grow this channel sourcing with Bolo Buddies. And I am at, I think, 890 subscribers. So I am like 110 away from 1K. So share this with one of your friends and ask them to subscribe. Um, and then my hours, I think I'm a thousand hours away. So I've got 3000 hours in, which isn't bad for like a couple months. And in the beginning, when I first started the channel, I wasn't really posting too much. So I've really just been hitting it hard this last month. So really want to get the channel monetized. If I get it monetized, no, it's not going to cover my time, but it will at least be some pennies coming in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I am excited to get the channel monetized and then, you know, just kind of take a deep breath, you know, and feel like I accomplished something. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next one.